For the which cause, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And this is our bread today. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse number 12. As I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, wherever you are at this time on our own world, planet Earth, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Grace, mercy, peace, and love from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you today. Be upon you today in the power of the Spirit so you can declare that, oh, I'm suffering some things. Yes, I'm going through something. I'm suffering, but I'm not a sufferer. Oh, hallelujah. Declare that today. Oh, I'm suffering, but I'm not a sufferer. Because you see, as a child of God, suffering for us is disciplining. It works for us. Um, uh, uh, patience. And, and James still uh, counted all joy when you fall into these diverse temptations. Different knowing. That's another knowing. Glory be to God. That it's working out some things in you. Patience. Patience. Perseverance. Endurance. It's causing you to be able to prevail. Hallelujah. But what is it at the right time? We are looking at the love legacy. Please don't lose sight. John 15, 15. We are still stationed there. That's that's our base of operation right now. Glory be to God. The Lord said, you are no more servants. Because I've made known. And the Lord has been making known some things. Uh, our knowledge, the range of what we know, the range of our information is, is expanding. God wants to expand your horizon. God wants to expand your worldview. God wants to expand your outlook on life. God wants to expand your expectation. Uh, hallelujah. He wants to enlarge your territory through knowledge. Hallelujah. And right here, so the writer is saying, when you know some things, glory be to God, it makes you somewhat of a gladiator. <laughs> oh, it makes you more than a conqueror. You can fight, but you know how to fight. And you're not fighting the suffering necessarily. You are fighting to ensure that you're knowing more and more of who you believe. This is why I know whom I have believed. To believe there means who you are relying on, who you are depending on. That's what it means to believe, is to rely on, is to depend on, is to be persuaded about, is to be confident in. I know I believe, I know I've got all of this. And uh, you know, and of course, you, to know me, you recognize, so you can recognize God's hand in the suffering, you can recognize uh, God's hand in the difficulty, you can discern and perceive and you understand that the Father, just as though in the beginning when he knelt down and took the, the, the dirt and fashioned the body of our first uh, father and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. All that is happening, the difficulty is God fashioning you into, into the image. You have been fashioned, you have been molded into the image of his son and he's breathing new life into you. Glory be to God. And so you're not ashamed of the difficulty. Oh, some shameful things are happening, but you're not ashamed. Oh, acknowledge, oh, it's shameful and, and, and it's difficult, but I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed because I know what is happening. I know what is happening. I know that I am being kept and that is the important thing. If you are going through some difficulty, but you know that you are preserved, there's no shame in that. It's when you're not sure that you are preserved. It's, it's when you're, you're thinking that all is lost. That's the shame. The shame is accepting that all is lost. That is shame. It's shame on you. Don't ever accept that all is lost because it's not, it doesn't matter how bad it is, but it's only when you know, you got to know who you believe, and you know, have to ranch it up a little bit, ratchet it up a little bit. You are persuaded. You are persuaded. Are you persuaded? Are you persuaded? I'm going to come back and tell you something that should persuade you. <laughs> Hallelujah. But think on these things and let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all of this knowledge, all of this revelation. Oh, Father, help us to allow it to uh, revolutionize our mindset and radicalize us, Lord God, without being rebels. We don't want to be the kind of radicals that are rebels. We want to be the kind of radicals that, 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 that just glow with redemption. And we are gladiators. We contend for the faith. 
Help us out to do that, Father. We give you honor, glory, and praise, even as we declare it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.